Hello everybody! In this video, I'm going to show you how to get the Prism Lance and the Prism Staff in Pilgrimed by beating the secret boss, the Prism Troll. So the stats for the Prism Lance are pretty good, and not only does the heavy attack launch you forward, if you land the hit, you'll get a speed buff stacking up to 5 times. It's easily the best spear in the game, and the Staff is pretty cool too. The projectiles apply bleed, and the heavy attack is a laser beam which sets the enemies on fire. The lance goes well with any build, because the stats are pretty good and the heavy attack mobility is nice to have. Alright, let's get into how you actually do this boss. First, teleport to the savannah mirror, and go to the blacksmith and ask to see his wares. Over there, you'll see an option to buy a tool called the gemstone pickaxe. This requires an iron pickaxe and the following gems. 5 ruby, 5 sapphire, and 5 emerald. I'm going to show you where to find all of these materials, so if you already have them then you can skip to the next timestamp. To get the rubies, you have to go to the volcano and mine the ore over there. They're scattered around the volcano, so just keep running around until you find some, and eventually one of them will have rubies in it. For me, I was lucky enough to get one on my first try. To get sapphires, you want to go to the mountain. In the ore over here, you may see a dark blue one, which is sapphire. And finally, for the emeralds, you want to go to the desert. Look for the green ore and then mine them, because those are the emeralds. Now that you have all the materials required, go back to the savannah and buy the gemstone pickaxe. So now you want to go back to the prairie, and go to the Thief King's cave. Keep on going straight, and in the first room, you'll see a set of stone steps on the right. Once you find it, get on top of it, and the highest step can be mined with the gemstone pickaxe. This will let you fall down to a dark cave. The drop is pretty massive though, so make sure you have a glider, or some other means of negating the fall damage. Inside the cave you'll find the Prism Troll, who in my opinion is probably the hardest boss to 1v1 in this game. He does a lot of damage and attacks you incredibly frequently, so if you want to beat him in a 1v1 you have to fight him multiple times, so that you get comfortable parrying his attacks. The main pattern that he will do is he will punch you 3 times, these hits are really easy to parry if you're focused, and then after that he will hit you with a single punch which knocks you back. You can also parry this, and it will be put on cooldown for him so he can't use it again for like another 10 seconds. So the key is to parry the free hits, and then get him to use a single punch, and the next time that you parry his free hits you can hit him for guaranteed damage, because you know that he won't use the singular punch because it's on cooldown. The rest of his moves are pretty easy to dodge, you just want to stay out of the way of his crystals. You shouldn't be trying to parry the crystals, just try to avoid them. This is because it's way more easy and reliable to parry the punches. And generally speaking, when he's running at you attacking, you don't want to try and run away from him. You want to stand there and parry his attacks. This is because his attack hitbox is massive and he's really fast, so if you try to run away from his attacks, he'll often hit you anyway. Once you master this, you should get him down to 600 health and he'll go down to his second phase. This can be quite intimidating, but it's not too different from the first phase. The main thing that's changed is he attacks faster, he runs faster, and he has a new laser beam attack. He will use this laser beam attack 3 times in a row. It can be parried and it's pretty easy to do so as long as you don't choke. Make sure that you're moving around when he does the laser attacks though, because he'll also jump at you and do damage which you want to avoid. Your strategy should be pretty much the same as the last phase. Get your damage in after he does his punching attacks, dodge all the crystals, and parry all the lasers. It's crucial that you don't start running away, because he's way faster now, his melee attacks have massive range and they can absolutely destroy you. So the key is to stay calm and you'll eventually win this fight. Both of the weapon drops are a 50% chance, and I believe that if you kill the Prism Troll while it's Mondo, then you have a guaranteed chance of getting a gem. I'll play the rest of this boss fight if you want to see how I did it. Other than that, I hope you guys have a good day.